Hello everyone, welcome back to my Mass Effect playthrough. Last episode we made it through the Skyway and the Colonist. In this episode, we're gonna deal with the Thorian. Alright, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... Kila. What is that? That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be problematic. Problematic. <laughs> that light always makes me think of Morden. <laughs> problematic. <laughs> I can't do a set line exactly the way he does it. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them, now! No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will be the ground. No, I was going to take her down. Uh, these sorry clones are usually give, usually give me a lot of trouble. And that's on the normal difficulty. Why the Asari pones are give me trouble? They use warp. I fall down, and the game doesn't let me get up, but it beats me up while I'm down. I hate biotics in the first game. Over here, Commander. Definitely something different in this area. 
is why I always say right before doing the nose. So I don't know about you guys, but I don't like going through this 80 million times because the Asari clone at the end kills you. Like every Asari clone kills you like twice and then you're doing everything repeatedly. Trap seven times. Hell yeah, you you're in my it. way. Stop staying in my way. Getting hurt by what the heck? That didn't give me any meds, yo. Yes, not over.
boys are constantly almost dead. Let me up! <sighs> oh, go station. Maybe this will give me some med gel. Yep. Why do they always go after Tally? Why can't they just not go straight for Tally? Oh, I see. When they're poisoned, their health doesn't reach in. Wait, you people. His health is still regening, but it's just not regening as fast as it does. Tally! Let me up, game. Come on, Garrus, you go down before I can... I'm 
even do anything about your health. Jeez. Why am I stuck? Wait for their health to regen a little bit. That one did. med gel. That's annoying though, that I had to use my med gel before I could even get them up. So now I have no med gel to cure them of their poison with. Missed me.
There we go. I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Sarah. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you all right? 
I saw something. There she is, right? Still didn't make any sense. Up. <laughs> you have been given a great gift. <laughs> the experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about this. I'm, I'm telling you, usually says cipher, that. <laughs> but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Mm. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence, and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic. And he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. You're welcome. But that is all the time I have left for this episode, guys. So I'm going to leave it off here. In the meantime, you guys can like and subscribe down below if you want to see more. Let me know how I'm doing in the comment section below. <clears throat> Thank you all for watching. In the meantime, keep it real, spread the love, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.